Hey guys, it's Judy, and I have a stamp haul to share with you guys. I have um, two things. One from um, Artie. She's one little dreamer. I had gotten some stamps from her, and I also placed a Stampin' Up! order, a small order, from Melissa, who is Melissa0174. Hi, Melissa. So I got everything today. Um, I'll start with my one little dreamer haul over here. Oh, you don't even see the... One Little Dreamer and their photopolymer stamps and um, it's cute packaging and she wrote a little message just dear Judy thank you Artie cute owl so I just ordered um, three different stamps from her um, this one I don't think they have the names on it but this one I really like all the sentiments. It says, that sweet smile melts my heart. And then, grow old with me, the best is yet to be. And then, yes, I believe in miracles because I have you. Yeah. Let me kiss those boo-boos away. Um, I'm putty in your hands. Um, do you know how much I love you? This much. So it reminds me of Aiden. <laughs> so that's why I got it. It reminds me of my little guy. So, um, I also picked up this one, and it just has a lot of cute phrases. Um, right now, my space, one for the books, just the beginning, on my bucket list, epic, family, the story, a secret, perfect, um, happiness. So you can do this is, and then you can say happiness, this is family, this is the story, um, like underneath, or this is awesome, and put it underneath. And then my life, my bliss. Um, F I love this one, but FB approved, Facebook approved. I believe that's what it means. Um, this is how I roll, and this is true love. This is my happy place. So all this, you know, this is, you can put all these things underneath the arrow and then have the arrow point to like a picture for a layout or definitely project life in mind. So that was really cute. So it is, if you can see, it's just one little dreamer. Um, dot com. And then also the last stamp is this. So it is uh, this is me uncut, and then my story, my way, discovering myself, uh, a little me time. This is me. Evidence of a well-lived life. Um, totally rocking it. This makes me happy. Wicked awesome. All day, every day. And then these are the little details I want to remember. And it's a brilliant kind of day. So really nice. I did stamp out... I did stamp out um, this one. Um, a little me time. And it stamped out nice. It was um, photo, photopolymer stamps. And that, this is stamping up um, ink pads that I just got today. So um, I'm just showing that. So the first one came out a little blotchy, but then the second one is fine. So it's just my stamping. And um, so on to the stamping up haul. So, like I said, I purchased these from Melissa, who's um, Melissa0174 on YouTube. So, you can just PM her if you want to place an order as well. And I picked up these clear stamps. I know um, Stampin' Up! is known for their wood blocks, or wood stamp, rubber stamps, but um, I, think, I guess they started doing um, photopolymer. So, um, this is the Wonderless. Wanderless. And I love the will travel, and then just um, the journal lines, the little plane, the little globe, the compass, and just the little heart swirl. You can have the plane kind of um, fly that. Um, you also have this this way, the directionals. Um, let's be adventurers, this triangle, and I really like this hello from, and then you can say like hello from New York, hello from, you know, Bermuda, wherever, you know, you, hello from Paris, so wherever you visited, <clears throat> I thought that was really cute, 
So I did stamp them out. And I did, um, I got new ink pads, so I'm going to show you how it looks stamped out. So the first one is Pacific Point. And let me show you that. And then this is Coastal Cabana. And they are the foam kind that are really juicy. Um, and this is the Bermuda Bay. So I stamped it out here. The hello from so you can tell it's really juicy and the more I stamp I, I had stamped it first and it came out whoa like really because it was so juicy I don't know what was going on <laughs> I was like oh no but then I stamped it again and it came out nicer and um, I think it it looks like it does beat up like on the stamps and stuff but then it kind of you wait for it and it kind of fills in all the blotchiness. So I thought it turned out nice for that. So this one is Bermuda Bay. And then I also stamped it in the Coastal Cabana. So that's how it looks like. See how I originally stamped it? And I didn't ink it up as much. And then it's like that. So that's the color. And then I also stamped it up in the Pacific Point. So it looked like that. I think by then I was kind of getting the hang of it. <laughs> so it's really hard just because um, of the background and the fine detail of the print. But I thought it came out nice. Um, it just took some time to get used to. And then I also did the Will Travel. And that, see how it, it's so juicy. It just, like, made it really blotchy. But I tried it a few times. And then finally I did get a nice image here. So that's what it looks like. And what else did I get? I also did get a hexagon punch. Um, so let me, let me, um, cut something out for you so you can see the size. Let's see. So it's like this size. There. Okay, one minute, okay, buddy? So that's the size of the pyramid, uh, not pyramid. <laughs> he didn't say pyramid, so I'm saying pyramid with the hexagon punch. <laughs> And then I had just picked up a refill of, um, what is this, the Melon Mambo. And I thought I, you know, I wanted to try it out to see if I could do any, like, um, flicking or anything. But it's like an eyedropper thing, like a dropper. So you get big splotches and actually leak through. So I'm wondering if I just put it on, like, a little, um, you know, one of those ink wells and then kind of use my like a paintbrush maybe or something or a straw and then just do the flicking because I love doing my flicking on the paper but I wanted this color so anyways I tried it and also I wanted to update you on um, what happened remember I told you I had those um, those alpha beans that were off kilter or um, you know not lined up right so I emailed Jelly Bean Soup, and they were so responsive. They they emailed me the next morning, and then they said, "All right, sometimes it happens," and they apologized. And um, and so okay, Aiden. Here you go, buddy. This is a rectangle. So so then they said. Um, so I just sent them my email. My my mailing address, I'm sorry guys, I sent them my mailing address and um, I got this in the mail. Not only did they send me the alpha beans, but they also sent um, a few extra goodies. So they sent this and some papers and also these papers. Pyramid, I hear you buddy. Pyramid. All right, 
So that's what they sent me. So great customer service from um, Jelly Bean Soup. So definitely, you know, if you ever have issues, you know, oh, I God. I recommend emailing them because they were very responsive. So all right, guys, hope you are having a great week um, or had it well, enjoying your Friday and are um, getting ready for the weekend. So thanks, guys. Bye.